This reference design is for making a robot controller product. It includes everything from schematics to bill of materials and firmware. Rollout. We share hardware reference designs for robotics so you can make your own hardware. Hi there, welcome to Rollout. I'm Jeremy and today we're rolling out the E01 and E15, the boards that make up the EZBV4. The features of the EZBV4 are as follows. It has 24 digital input output ports, eight analog to digital ports, three I2C ports, one camera port, three UART ports, a power efficient switching power supply. It also has amplified audio, a low battery monitor, a built-in web server with two Wi-Fi modes, AP and client. Let's connect the EasyBV4 to EasyBuilder. First, we'll need power and this little power harness board, which is E05. Then we'll connect the EasyBV4 to it. There we go. You can see the LEDs flashing coming on. Now let's connect uh, to the EasyBV4's Wi-Fi address here. And we're connecting in access point mode, which is directly to the EasyB. So we'll hit connect. And first let's do an example of a digital port uh, sensor. So we'll add an ultrasonic sensor. We'll go to the top left here and add controls. Move over to the right, select ultrasonic. We'll do the distance behavior control. And we'll configure it for port D0. When you're using a three wire sensor like this, uh, both ports will have to be D0. They'll both have to be the same, I should say. Then we'll connect the ultrasonic up to D0 there. There we go, save that. And we'll have to uncheck the pause box here for it to show some distance. And if we stick our hand in the way, it should show that uh, there's something there. I can put my body in the way as well. <laughs> okay, next let's connect up an analog sensor. This is just a simple light sensor. We'll go to the top left again, add control. Go over to the top left and add an ADC value behavior control. You'll get some readings because of the, the floating nature of analog pins. So let's connect this up. And let's also make sure that this is on the ADC zero, which it is, perfect. So if I cover the sensor, the value should go up. And then if I take my hand off, it should go down again. Okay. Now let's do an example of an I2C uh, display. We'll connect it up to one of the ID, I2C ports here, which we have three of. Flip this around so you can see it. Okay, we'll go up to the top left again, add controls. This time we'll go to the, the center top for I2C and then down to RGB animator behavior control. In order to set this up and make it display some stuff, we'll have to go to the gear icon. We'll add a new action, call it today. We'll also have to add a new frame. Then you can see that the LEDs just kind of went blacked out. Next, we'll have to add some color to them. Let's just make a pattern along the outside and then we'll add some color. And you can see that changing in real time. There, we'll make it yellow. Save that. Next, let's add a camera to the EZB. We'll plug it into the six pin camera port here. Just try to put the camera over here. We'll go to the top left again, add a control. 
And then under the camera section, we'll go to camera device. And this will be the camera behavior control. All we have to do is press start and the camera will start working. Hey, <laughs> there's me. <laughs> okay, lastly, we'll uh, have to actually unplug the ECB quickly here and we'll add a speaker and that will give us our audio output. So I'm just going to disconnect for a quick second. Put this little piece of plastic here that puts the speaker in the right place for the these two connection ports here. There's actually a, a connection port right here as well if you wanted to add a, a speaker that had a DuPont connection on it. And there's also a audio input if you want to take that and go to an aux cable, uh, go directly to another audio output source. So we'll plug this in, snap that together, plug this little power harness back in, and then you'll hear the easy B chime. Everything is kind of reset. So we'll go back and we'll connect up to the, the EZB Wi-Fi network here. Connect up, you'll get the connection beep. And next, let's add an audio control. So back up there to the top left and then in the audio section here. And what we want is soundboard EZB. And in the soundboard behavior control, we'll select this box and that'll allow us to load in an audio file. And uh, we just have to hit play. <laughs> A good audio track for, uh, for our video series here. Okay, let's look at the built-in web server. We can click on this Chrome looking icon here. And this is our Menu for the web server on the side here, or the main menu. We have settings for access point mode. You can put in a security key if you want. You can change it over to client mode, and this is how you would connect. Enter in your, your router's Wi-Fi SSID in there. And then we have general settings where you can uh, disable chimes and add, um, or sorry, disable uh, low, battery, low battery warning. Uh, there's also advanced settings, uh, telnet and network services and that kind of thing. And lastly, there's diagnostics. On the EZB V4, there's also three UARTs. Uh, two of them are kind of hidden. It's actually D5 and D6 of, on these digital ports, and D18 and D19. And then this is our UART breakout over here. And I'll show you that in the schematic portion. Okay, the, the EZB V4 is actually made up of two boards, E01, which is the main board, and E15, which is the Wi-Fi board. Here's the main board here. We start off with voltage coming in, and that comes to our switching power supply, which gives us our 3.3 volts. That powers the rest of the circuit. And here is our audio amplifier section, which takes audio from the MCU and then amplifies it into a speaker. Next, we have our battery monitor section, which is a voltage divider that gives us our input voltage and allows us to measure to see if it's too low, and that way we can protect the circuit. This port over here, the programming port, isn't populated, but it's there for you. These headers here connect E01 to E15. They're the connections around the outside of the board. We also have these protection resistors, which limit the current going to each digital pin. We have our power LED. And here we have our main MCU, which is an STM32 F205 microcontroller. And this is where all the connections come back to. Um, D5 and D6, those are also double of, as UR ports. Same with D18, D19. And let's move over to our Wi-Fi uh, schematic here. This is the E15 
Wi-Fi schematic. And let's start off with, uh, these are the breakouts for the digital pins here. And here we have 24 of them, D0 to D23. These are the connections that connect back down to the E01 board. We have our UART breakout. We have a, a non-populated programming port right here. Here's the camera port. Those are our three I2C ports. And down here is our ADC ports. And here's the RGB status LED, as well as this low battery uh, LED here that uh, allows us to have a visual confirmation that the battery is low. It also doubles as a status LED. And finally, this is our Wi-Fi module. Everything connects back to it. Um, it connects directly to the camera port. So the camera port doesn't go down to the, the E1 board. It actually just goes directly to the Wi-Fi module. Yeah, there's a reset button there. That's about it. Let's move on to the bill of materials. This is the E01 bomb. Starting off, we have the PCB here. Next is the, the main MCU, just STM32 F205. We have audio amplifier chip, our switching power supply chip, the microdeans plug. We have our crystal oscillator. These are the pins that go along the outside that connect up to E15. Got a ferrite bead for noise filtering. It's an inductor that connects to the switching power supply. A couple of diodes that connect to the switching power supply as well. Along with some capacitors and the resistor. And here is uh, our blue power LED. We also have a poly fuse that protects the main MCU. There's a heat sink that goes on top of the main MCU as well. And lastly, there's a eight ohm speaker which uh, connects to the bottom. And here's the E15 bomb. Starts off with a PCB. Next is the Wi-Fi module, the EMW3165. It also has those 18 pin headers that go along the outside that connect to E01. We have that red LED, the low battery indicator. Got some more resistors and caps. There's the RGB status LED. We have the I2C connections here, three of those. And this is the camera connection. We also have the UART connection here. And then these are the digital and analog pins that are broken out. And lastly, we have the reset button, which is uh, surface mount tactile push button. One thing to note is that both these boards, the E15 and the E01, both need custom firmware on their main chips, and we provide that to you with our GitHub page. That was the E01 and E15 EasyBB4 reference design. Find the links for the Synthium behavior controls and the GitHub reference design files in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications for the next rollout videos. Over and out. Thank you for watching Rollout. For more information, visit www.synthium.com.